So in this question, we want to find the greatest common divisor between 192 and 270. Now, using the Euclidean algorithm, we want to start with the highest number first, which is 270 in this case, and work out how many times the smaller number goes into 270. Now, we know that 192 goes into 270 once, with 78 left over. So we can write this as 270 equals 192 times 1 plus 78. Now, to continue this process, we bring 192 down to the front, and we bring our remainder from this line down into this position in this line here. Now we want to work out how many times our remainder, which is 78, goes into 192. Now, 78 goes into 192 twice, with 36 left over. So we can write this as 192 equals 78 times 2 plus 36. Now, what we want to do is continue the process in the same way. So now we want to bring down 78 down into the front position and bring down our remainder, which is 36, down into this position here. Again, we want to work out now how many times 36 goes into 78, which we know is twice, with 6 left over. So we can write 78 as 36 times 2 plus 6. Again, what we want to do is repeat the process. So this time we're bringing down 36 into the front position and bring down our remainder, which is 6, down into this position here. And again, what we want to do is work out how many times 6 goes into 36, which we know is 6, with no remainder. So we can write 36 as 6 times 6 plus 0. Now because our remainder is now 0, this is really important because this means we can stop the process. So to find our greatest common divisor, we look at the number in this position here, which is also the number which is the remainder in the previous line. So our greatest common divisor of 192 and 270 is 6. So in the second part of this question, we want to find the values of x and y that satisfy the equation that the greatest common divisor between 192 and 270 is equal to 192x plus 270y. Now what this means is we want to find an equation in the form 6, remember that's what we worked out in the last part, is equal to 192x plus 270y. Now, to start off this question, what we want to do is to use our working to part A of this question. Now, you can see that I've got that here. And what I want to do is to express the remainder of each row in their own separate equation. Now, I always start with the second last row, and I want to rearrange this to get the remainder of 6 on its own. So, you can see that I've done that down here. Okay, I've got 6, which is equal to 1 lot of 78, minus 2 times 36, 2 lots of 36. And you can see that if I take this part across to the left-hand side, then that's what I would get. Okay, and I've labelled that number 1. Then if I start with the next line, and I rearrange that equation to get the remainder of 36 on its own, okay, I would have 1 lot of 192, minus 2 lots of 78, and I've labelled that number 2. Okay. And if I take the top row, and I rearrange that to get the remainder, which is 78 this time on its own, then I would get 78 equals 1 lot of 270, minus 1 lot of 192, and I've labelled that equation number 3. Now if we remember the goal that we started out from was to get an equation that had the greatest common divisor which we know is 6 equal to 192x plus 270y. Okay? Now what that means is that we have to get an equation that is equal to 6. 
Now, the only equation that we have to start with that is equal to 6 is equation number 1. And that's where we start from. So, if we write it down, 6 equals 1 times 78 minus 2 times 36. Now, what I need to do is I need to use my equations that I, I worked out earlier on. Now, I know that 36 is equal to 1 times 192 minus 2 times 78. And I can use this equation now within the first part because I can substitute in for the 36 instead. Now, if I do that, I would have 6 equal to 1 times 78 minus 2 times 1 lot of 192 minus 2 lots of 78. So I've substituted in this equation here in for 36. Now what I need to do is I need to multiply this out. Now if I do that, I get 6 equals 1 times 78 minus 2 lots of 192. Now it's really important here to remember that I'm not multiplying 192. I'm multiplying the coefficient. So I've got minus 2 lots of 192 plus 4 lots of 78. Be careful, the two minus signs make a positive. All I need to do now is tidy up, and I would have 6 equal to 5 lots of 78 minus 2 lots of 192. Now remember that the goal is to get an equation and with 192x plus 270y, and you can see that it's starting to take that form. But I don't want 78 in the equation. But I also know, using equation number 3, that 78 is equal to 1 times 270 minus 1 times 192. So I can now substitute this in for the 78. So if I do that, I would have 5 times 1 lot of 270 minus 1 times 192 minus 2 lots of 192. And again, if I multiply this out, again, remember I'm multiplying the coefficient, I would have 6 equal to 5 times 270 minus 5 times 192 minus 2 times 192. And again, if I tidy up, I would have 6 equal to 5 times 270 minus 7 times 192. Now this equation is in the form that I wanted to start with. Okay, It has our greatest common divisor, which is equal to 6. It then has 192 times a number plus 270 times another number. So it's in the same form. So all I need to do now is to find x and y is to read off the numbers in front of each term. Be careful, x is the number in front of 192, which in this case is minus 7, so x is minus 7, and the number that is for y we can read off as 5, so y is equal to 5. 